Greetings, person currently watching this, and welcome back to A New Beginning, Final Cut. So, while I was off camera, I pushed this button, and this opened. So let's continue. Protect the environment before it's too late. Yes, you are right. If no Wait. nuclear power. No nuclear power. No nuclear power. We have to shut down the Indes power plant immediately, or else... Or else what? You don't decide that. Those who have any say in the matter are attending the conference inside. And even they only listen to what experts like this Dr. Brown tell them. Brown? Why don't you ray of sunshine? He's just a puppet of the industry. <laughs> Always these conspiracy theories. You better save your shouting for something else. Bugger off! Okay. Hello. Talk to them. May the Earth be with you. What can we do May for you? May the Earth be with you? Sure, why not? I'm looking for a way to join the conference. I'm looking for a way to join the conference. If you don't have an invitation or are a member of the press, they won't let you in. But I have an important message for the conference. If they extend the license for the power plant, Something terrible is going to happen. They don't care. The only thing they care about is money. And then they use this expert, Dr. Brown, as an excuse. The decision will depend on his report. But they bought him, too. And why are you here if they've already made up their mind? We want to show them how many people are against nuclear power plants. Okay. He doesn't look like a nice guy. What? More like okay. a Okay. But so far, he kept his head. I hope it will stay this way. I have some hot coffee for you. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. Could I borrow your megaphone real quick? Hmm. What do you need it for? Well, I want to get a message across to people who refuse to listen. Sounds familiar. Okay, you can have it. We have a spare one anyway. Okay, you gave her coffee for a megaphone. Sure, why but not? She'll bring it back. Promise? I will. Probably not. Promise. All right, that it. Looks like it. Protesters, the door dude. I guess we'll talk to this little ray of sunshine. Hello? Hey, sunshine. How you feeling? Yes. Are you listening to music so you won't hear the protesters? No, it helps me to relax. My doctor prescribed it because I was really edgy in the past. And my job is to keep calm. So, you don't have anything against the protesters? Quite the opposite. I understand them. I even separate my trash at home. Besides, this is a pretty peaceful protest. Last week, I had to work a protest of left-wing radicals. You wouldn't believe the things they shout at you. I could still breathe fire and brimstone when I think of it. Only because I don't have any hair anymore, they were calling me a skinhead. But they were right. You were bald. What did you just say? Get lost. If there's one thing I can't tolerate, it's people making fun of my hairdo. What hair? Um, oh, okay, I got it. You know, this whole, like, childlike ignorance that Faye's having, I think that's what they're trying to give her, is some childlike ignorance because she lived in a vault her whole life. At first it's kind of charming, but like everything else in the game, it gets old really quick. Um, I already know the answer to that, so I may as well ask it anyways. Okay. I guess the game didn't want me to ask that. As you like it. I won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, so back to the helicopter. Or wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's some over here. Oh, look at the power plants. How can people be so stupid? It's obvious that this can't be good. Bot calling the kettle black, honey. Okay, let me guess. I need to use this megaphone to go shout at this guy over here because he won't listen to us. Alright, where's my megaphone? Hello? Ah, that doesn't sound like she's talking. Speaking. Can doesn't you sound like she's me? talking are through a megaphone, me? does it? Turn the volume down. We are from the future, and we have come to stop the climate change. 
You are... you want... what? You heard right. We are from the future. We? I only see you. There's two of us, Salvador and I. And you really are time travelers? Wicked! Of course, well, they would be naked because clothing couldn't be transported through time. No, luckily, we could take everything we needed with us because we used a time capsule. A time capsule? Interesting. And how does that work? Much too complicated to explain. That's sure. much too complicated to explain. Then leave out the boring parts and just tell the exciting stuff. Okay, you push a button, everything gets wibbly wobbly, and then you're somewhere else. There you go. Our time capsule was powered by a Svensson. What's that? The name of the guy who pulled that thing through time? No. Ben Svensson found a way to create energy from algae. Okay. I. That's interesting. I think after I'm done with this episode, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna replay this part and see if that's the way it's supposed to be or if things just screwed up when I loaded my save. Cause I don't think it's supposed to be skipping audio like this. Okay, we're here to stop the climate change. We're here to stop the climate change. Yeah, right, you already said that, but that's just empty talk. I need details, no details, no story. Okay, how about this the one? The Indes power plant will explode in one week from now. That's why we are here. We want to prevent that from happening. That way, we can save the future of mankind. Our future. Are you serious? That... that... do you have any proof? Yes. Show it to me. Pretty, pretty please. And why should I do that? I can make a big story of it. Here, my press card. Life Ogerzoon. That's me. But you can call me Aki. My name is Faye. Oh, uh, let me guess. I think I know what Thanks. I need to do. How? Um, what are you doing? Ah, I see. You want to confirm that I'm a real journalist. You can keep the ID. I have several anyway. But come back as long as the story's still hot. Okay, so I think I need to do this. The photo is too large, and it doesn't stick. Oh, okay. Well, then looks like I need other stuff. Um, can I use a knife? I mean, scissors would be better, but... No idea how. Nope. Okay, so can I give him this? That's Here. no use. Okay, never mind. Let's see, what else is there? You. Nothing to do with you. So I think I need scissors now. So that way I can cut that. Hmm. Where would scissors be on a helicopter? On the intercom. Spice rack. Over here, maybe? I mean, do, does he use that for stuff like this? Drawers. Aha. You. Empty. Do I have to do each and every one? Empty. Yep. Well, this is gonna be fun. Ah, scissors. I'll take them with me. Haha. -ha. Excellent. Now I need something sticky, I'm sure. Empty. Okay. Scissors. On this. Now the photo looks much less like it was taken by accident. Cool. Let me guess, I need an adhesive of some photo kind? Has the right side. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so... It's gonna be sticky in here. Ooh, made that sticky note? Or can I move your butt? Nope, no sticky note. Um, nothing here. Nothing there. You probably don't have anything sticky. Coffee won't stick. Oh, this can, hello. Very colorful, out of place can. Blend of spices, huh? Zulu fire spice mix. Looks pretty dangerous. Okay. What about this can? This looks like our saccharide units. Hmm. These are saccharide units. And what's a saccharide? Oh, it's sugar. And why didn't you call it sugar? Because sugar is a disaccharide. Okay, I get it. Yeah, never mind. All right. So what can I do with sugar? And spice. Zulu fire spice. Okay, I already saw that. You have to keep saccharides in a cool place or they will oxidize. And it's a hell of a job to scratch them off the floor again. Okay. A thick machine. brown liquid drips from the machine into a kind of glass pot. Must be some synthetic nutrient that keeps people awake. You really don't have coffee in the future? You have my pity. Can I use the sugar on the coffee? Hmm. 
Didn't think that would make sense. Okay, let's see. Anything in the bunk? Like over here in the background? Doesn't look like it. Come on, there's gotta be something. He's just in there. Sticky around here. So what can we use these for? Oh, maybe we can go give sugar to that chick. I mean, she's probably drunk coffee by now, but you never know. Do you want some sugar? That's no use. Okay, do you want your megaphone back? I'll give it back later. I might still need it. Okay. Let's see, what can we do? A sign? Energy Oslo. I hope that's not the same company that built these smoking chimneys everywhere. Can I give him the sugar? Certainly not. Can I throw the spice in his face? Certainly not. That's probably what I ended up using that for. Let's see me putting on food. Would there be anything that nobody's wait, no. Well darn. Let's see, what can I do with what I have? Salvador, I'm sure you're gonna be useless because you're always useless. up there, nothing down there. So then it's gotta be outside, because it looks like there's nothing here. It's the intercom, that doesn't do anything. Sorry for the lack of progress, I just don't know what's supposed to be sticky. Maybe I can go ask the crowd if they have a glue stick? Let's try that. Probably not, I'm sure it'll just be the same stuff, but it's worth trying. This way. Okay. Over here. Hey, you got glue. Hello. May the earth be with you. What can we do for you? No. Well, oh, crap. Have to go now. See you later, then. May the earth be with you. Okay. You know what? Since I'm stuck, I'm gonna end it here. Still, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Bye.